So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P043E code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota P043E code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system leak detection reference orifice low flow. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this, mainly with the leak detection pump. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to why. And there can be some differences on what's going on inside the Toyota EVAP system. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the year, the model, and things like this. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific Toyota so you know exactly what's going on with it. But the basics of what's happening is that the gas vapors are going to leave the gas tank through a hose. They're going to go over to what's called a charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister does different things. It's kind of like storage for the gas vapors. And located on the charcoal canister is going to be some different components. There's going to be a vent valve. And this is where the leak detection pump is also going to be located is going to be located on the charcoal canister and then a hose is going to leave the gas tank it's going to go up to the top of the engine what's called a purge valve and the purge valve just stays closed when the engine's off so the gas vapors don't escape and then it opens when the engine's running so all the gas vapors can go into the engine and get burned off and so the main thing to check with this code is going to be this leak detection pump it's going to be located on the charcoal canister which is going to be up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere and basically with this code the onboard computer is just seeing an issue with this charcoal canister it's very common for these just to become rusted up or clogged up or things like this and they just stop working. This is very common with these leak detection pumps. You can buy the leak detection pump separately from the charcoal canister or you can just buy it all together and just replace the whole thing. But a very common cause of this code is that it just has a bad leak detection pump. Of course, if there's anything wrong with the wiring, like an open short or anything like this, if any of the wires going to the leak detection pump, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as of a bad leak detection pump. So all the wiring can be tested to be sure that there's no issues going on like an open or a short or anything like this and then if the wiring test good then you can go ahead and replace the leak detection pump but however you want to do it the things to go and check when you get a toyota with the p043e code is going to be this leak detection pump itself and the wiring going to it and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a toyota with the p043e code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day